morning children i hope you all are safe and healthy at home welcome in evs class we have completed lesson number 8 science of kitchen part 1 in this part 2 video we are going to learn importance of different spices in our kitchen so let's start take out page number 65 of evs textbook and we will start our lesson of part 2 food and health are also related to the method of cooking we know that food and health are also related to the method of cooking and this we have learned in part 1 raw food roasted or boiled at low temperature is considered to be the best method of cooking like if we consume it raw raw food is always good for health food roasted or the boiled at low temperature this three methods are we can say that is a best cooking method avoid using utensils made of plastic and aluminium for cooking or for eating food you have to remember this thing that you have to use the utensils except from plastic and aluminium you can see that in your kitchen your mother is going to use your aluminium vessel or not that utensils that you have to check and if it is it aluminium you have to replace it it with the stainless steel okay next is but the question arises why this aluminium utensils you should, should not use plastic we can understand it is harmful for our health but what about aluminium aluminium is also equally harmful to our health because when we cook any food in our aluminium utensils that means a uh, alum part of aluminium will be mixed up in our food that's why next is sunlight gives us constant and free of charge energy that is completely right cookers are available for cooking food using this energy yes we are talking about solar cookers such cookers are called solar cookers you can see that in this picture this is a picture of a solar cooker in this solar cooker there are four utensils are there four uh, we can say that uh, type of dabbas are kept here and then this is one cover of glass and there is a one mirror here it is kept so it's a kind of a solar cooker arrangement the qual the quality nutrients and taste of food are naturally maintained in the food cooked in solar cooker who uses such solar cookers in your area you have to find out get information regarding solar cookers and other such appliances this is important for you that you should use to solar cooker solar cooker is also one of the option we can think of as a utensils okay now next is write a note on advantage of using solar cookers what will be the advantages like we use solar energy and hence there is no expense of fuel yes the quality of food cooked in a solar cooker is very good we understand that because it's so completely cooked in us using the solar energy the quality taste and nutrients are naturally maintained in the food cooked in a solar cooker next is the food cooked in a solar cooker is easily digestible yes so that's why we have to use a solar cooker the taste of different foods is not same that is true and that's why we eat different different types of food we enjoy food due to difference in the taste and aroma in the food that is completely right and that's why we eat variety of food items which different taste have you experienced till now well the question is not difficult answer is already written here the food has six main tastes sweet salty sour pungent astringent and bitter 
sweet, salty, sour, you understand. What is pungent taste? What is pungent taste? Pungent is a strong flavor. Any, you can think of any spices having the strong flavor. It's called pungent taste. Astringent taste is slightly acidic or a slightly bitter taste. Okay? For good health, all tastes should be taken in a proper quantity. This thing is very important. That means we should also eat some things which is bitter in our food items. Can we really eat anything which is bitter in taste? Except medicine, huh? No. But we should include in our daily food items that certain bitter things also. Let's see that. From which food do we acquire the following taste that we have to find out? Let's see. Taste from what do we get? How it is present in the food? See that. Sweet. Sweet taste is there. From sweet taste from where we will get sugar can, jaggery. What is jaggery? Jaggery you can think of in Gujarati. You can say the god. Is called jaggery, sugar cubes and sugar. How it is present in the food? It will be consumed as raw, so or any other form also it will be present. Okay, that's why it was written like this. Now next here it is salty taste. It's present in the salt, only salt. Yes. Next, how it can be consumed in the present in the food? It is present in the food as in the raw form. Next is sour taste. Sour taste we will get from tomato, lemon, tamarind. Tamarind means what? Imli. Just go to imli, khatte imli. Right. Then amla, raw mango, oranges. We get sour taste from these many items. The list is very long. But still I have taken these many examples for this. And how it is present in the food? It's also present in the raw form. Now next is pungent taste. Pungent taste have this type of, I have told you, it's having a very strong flavor. Like our all spices, like ajmo, cinnamon, garlic, ginger, clove, black pepper, then mustard, chili. These are the some of the examples. And how it will be present in the food? It is present in the raw form also. It is present in the roasted form also. How roasted? We are preparing some masalas also, right? We are adding some garam masala powder. These are made of made it from all the spices, right? All means understand this thing. And even we are eat, uh, adding some curries also, which is also contains in this fried form also, all the spices, right? So it present in the raw form, roasted form or fried form in the food. Next is estrogen. It's turmeric, beans, mango seeds, beetle nuts. These all have a estrogen taste, slightly bitter taste. Mango seeds you can eat. Beetle nut means supari just go boltevo. And how it can be consumed? It consumed is in raw form as well as beans we cannot eat as raw. So beans we will be eating as in a boiled form also. And mango seeds also we can and beetle nut also can we can consume it in it in the roasted form. Like bitter. Bitter taste we get from karela, neem, methidana. And how we are going to consume? By boiling it. And so that we can get off, get rid of the bitterness okay, of all this food. Of course, it, we can consume it as in the roasted form also. So these are the tastes. We will get some of this uh, kitchen ingredients, right? Now next is read. Very important thing is that. Many spices are used to prepare food in the kitchen. We know that salt, chili, turmeric, cumin, fenugreek, mustard, jaggery, tamarind, etc. 
are among these spices. Such components are very important for our health. There is some scientific approach related to each of these components of the kitchen. This information is very important to us. Let's identify the spices based on its taste. Six taste doesn't include my name. Yet, no taste without me is my tall claim. Who am I? Like this. So these are the, some of the riddles type of uh, thing is there where, where, where we have to find out some spices, right? See so here it is, jaggery. Then it says sugar, sugar cubes and we can think of the sugar can. And naturally ripened fruits are sweet things. We get energy from sweetness. I am Mr. Salt. Brini taste is my fame. King of every kitchen. Famous by this name. That means salt. Salt only. Salty taste is mainly provided by salt only. Do you know it? The food is tasteless without it. We know that in each and every food, we must add salt. Without salt, the food is not taste as good as it is. Right? It's actually feel the tasteless. During fever, during fever, now the remedy starts. During fever, fever hota hai, kya hota hai? During fever, the cloth soaked in salty water is kept on the forehead to reduce fever. Where we have to keep this? The forehead of the sick person. Who the person is having the fever. We have to keep his forehead. It is so a uh, cloth soaked in salty water in order to reduce the fever. So we know that this practice must be done by our mother at home when we have to have a fever. Next is a thought of me sizzles your tongue and look how mouth waters. Sweet and sour is my tasty yummy juice. One loves and slurps. Who am I? I'm a lemon. Yes. Sour juice is obtained from lemon. Next is tomato. Tamarind. I have told you tamarind is a imli. Imli pulpy we can think of or a imli. Right? Then kokum. Kokum is also a dried uh, herbs or a spice where we, that this kokum will be added in a a Gujarati dal, when we prepare Gujarati dal, we add kokum in order to make the dal a sour taste, a, bit, a slight bit of a sour taste. We add kokum instead of adding lemon. Okay. Next is amla, raw mango. These are the taste, these are the, we can th say that the kitchen ingredients where we get a sour taste. Sour taste helps in digestion of food. This is very important. That's why we have to eat uh, sour taste food items. You must have drunk buttermilk after having meal. This is very important. Why? Because buttermilk is beneficial for digestion of food. Very good. So, Buttermilk will enhance the digestion process in our body. So that's why in after the lunch we have to drink the buttermilk. Now next is green and red are my colors. I am known as chili. Keeping your tongue stinging spicy tangy is my ability. Yes, but not even the spicy. Uh, chili did that did this thing. There are so many spices are there. Spicy taste is obtained from chili, mustard. Mustard means rye, jisko bolte hai. Mustard, black pepper is mari, ginger, adu jisko bolte hai. Ajwain, that is ajmo, 
गार्लिक गार्लिक मीन्स लहसुन सिनेमन सिनेमन यानी टच क्लो लविंग वाइट पेपर यानी वाइट चिली जिसको बोलते हैं एक्सेट्रा स्पाइसी स्पाइस किल्स दीज आर द सम ऑफ द स्पाइसिस आर द स्पाइसी स्पाइस किल्स हार्मफुल ऑर्गेनिजम्स This is very important. That's why we have to eat certain spicy things also in our food. And how it helps? Secrets digestive juices. If we eat certain spice, these are the spices in our include. If we include these spices in our food, that means that helps to secrets digestive juices in our body. But too much of spicy food is also harmful. That we have observed. in mahesh case right in first part yes next is no one loves me as i taste plum and crest help rid of cough and bad tasting mucus i am the best turmeric turmeric means haldi pulses different different types of pulses and mango seeds and बीटल नट बीटल नट मीन्स सुपारी जिसको बोलते हैं बीटल नट एक्सेट्रा हैव एस्ट्रेंजेंट टेस्ट एस्ट्रेंजेंट टेस्ट रिमूव स्टिकी सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम अवर बॉडी मैंगो सीड एंड बीटल नट आर यूज एज माउथ फ्रेशनर्स रिमेंबर दिस इज मैंगो सीड्स मैंगो सीड्स जिसको बोलते हैं ना आम की गुटलियाँ दैट इज दैट कॉल मैंगो सीड्स एंड बीटल नट्स are used as a mouth fresheners and have and has a which type of taste astringent taste and removes the stickiness from our mouth but it will not be consumed more okay remember with children this is it's always always used as a smaller quantity because it act as a mouth freshener okay so these are the some of the important spices are present in our next is people just split me out but when sick girl and gobble know my virtues for healthy life bitter taste is noble remember this thing bitter taste is always called as a noble taste bitter taste is obtained from फेनुग्रिक फेनुग्रिक यानी मेथी दाना की जो भाजी आती है मेथी दाना वाली वो मेथी की भाजी जिसको बोलते हैं फेनुग्रिक देन बीटर गॉड दैट मीन्स करेला एंड एक्सेट्रा वी कैन थिंक ऑफ द नीम ऑल्सो येस द नीम इज ऑल्सो बीटर इन टेस्ट येस द बीटर जूस एक्टिवेट्स अवर हंगर इट हेल्प्स टू कीप अवर बॉडी डिसीज फ्री रिमेंबर चिल्ड्रन That's why in winter season is especially we will eat the fenugreek leaves, and here it is in a, I think monsoon season. Yes, we eat karela. You know there is one beautiful Gujarati Gujarati song like poem type of thing is that, Avare varshad, devare upasad. उनी उनी रोटली ने करेला नो शाक सो एट दैट टाइम वी यूज टू ईट दिस बीटर गॉड सब्जी ओके इन अ इन अ मॉनसून सीजन टू कीप अवर सेल्फ हेल्दी एंड डिसीज फ्री एंड दिस इज अ नीम लिव्स इट्स आल्सो हेल्प्स अवर एक्टिवेट्स अवर हंगर ओके चिल्ड्रन सो दीज आर द ऑल द टेस्ट इज टेस्ट एंड and all include all type of spices also and we all are the kitchen ingredients available in that include all the spice or uh, taste okay you understand this part 2 video we'll continue further with the part 3 video till then take care of yourself thank you so much children i hope you all are eating every day one row fruit and one row vegetable just to remind you okay thank you